These are the five types of boot every man must own. How many of these can you check off the list? If you could only have one type of boot, what would it be? For me, the most versatile boot you can have, and the first boot I recommend to anyone, is a simple brown service boot style. For example, check out the Grant Stone Diesel in brown chrome XL leather. The color here is a nice mid-value brown. It's not too dark, and it's not a light tan either. This is gonna pair well with the greatest variety of styles, formalities, and generally get you the most bang for your buck from a fashion perspective. And if you get a high quality boot like this Grant Stone, or say, the Red Wing Iron Ranger, you'll be able to wear your boots rain or shine, and you're not gonna have to worry about damaging them. So the number one boot every man should own is a simple brown service boot. Choose a plain toe version or a cap toe version based on which style you like the best. Generally speaking, plain toes are a bit more dressy looking, so they're a great choice if you want a boot you can wear professionally. I prefer the style of cap toe boots, which is why the first boot I ever got was the Thursday Captain. Either way, you can't go wrong with a simple brown service boot as your number one choice. Now I gotta admit, my second and third choices, they're a little bit interchangeable based on what sort of activities you do on most days. For me, it's a lot more likely that I'm gonna be going into an office or a place where a dressier pair of boots makes more sense. That's why the second boot I recommend to add to your collection is a dressy boot. This doesn't have to be a formal black wingtip or anything like that, just something you'd want to wear to a wedding, church, or for an important meeting. Too many guys ignore their footwear when it comes to dressing sharp, even though it's probably the easiest way to make a positive impression. When you're picking out which leather color to get for your dress boots, go for something darker. I like burgundy leather for my dress boots as it's both interesting and versatile. Burgundy leather pairs well with jeans, green chinos, and can work well with navy, charcoal, and brown suits just as equally well. If you mainly have charcoal and black suits, or or if you most often wear black jeans, then a black leather dress boot may be your best choice in this situation. But um, you know, if you rock navy suits or wear a lot of denim, like uh, indigo jeans, then something like burgundy is a perfect choice. My favorite dress boot is the Beckett Simonon Elliott, and I picked mine up in the burgundy leather. They're relatively inexpensive, but they pack a major style punch and they're really comfortable, which is great for when I need to bust out my dance moves. Yes, that is a legitimate picture of me at the last wedding I went to. You may wanna get this third type of boot before a dress boot, depending on what your work week looks like. As I said earlier, you can easily make this the second boot in your collection if your hobbies are more tough on your footwear. The third type of boot every guy must have is a work boot. The leather color here really doesn't matter so much because you're gonna be beating these up, but generally speaking, I like brown leathers for these boots as well. And honestly, I kinda like the lighter brown leathers because they show the dirt and patina more, and I just think that's cool. Depending on the kind of work you get into, you may wanna invest a serious chunk of change into your work boots, or you wanna make these the cheapest boots in your collection. You can kinda go either way. I'll give you a good example. So for the past six months, I've been using the Whites Packer as my go-to work boot. I used it for sanding and staining my deck, putting in a fence in my backyard, and doing various yard work things around the house. That kind of work honestly doesn't require a $500 plus boot. While I love the Whites Packer, it's absolutely built like a tank and it's a bit over the top for my use case. That said, farmers, linemen, and foresters, they probably all love the Whites Packer because it's just one of the few boots that can actually keep up. It can like handle that level of labor, that level of intensity, and all the things that brush up against their boots. This is the kind of boot that can handle that. I just don't work that hard. So for me, I really like the Red Wing Classic Chelsea as a work boot. It's an ugly little beast, but uh, it's it's super comfortable and it's really easy to slip on and off. I also really like the Thoroughgood Mokto as a work boot. There are some silly things about this boot, like it has a plastic welt, which is you know pretty questionable, but it's relatively inexpensive and the leather is thick and resilient. And when I did a big Mokto test, I found that the sole was actually the most slip resistant. So there are some good benefits to the Thoroughgood Mokto, even though there's some significant drawbacks as well. To be honest, you could stop your boot collection right there with those three boots, your casual brown boot, your dress boot, and your work boot, and you'd have all you ever need. But if you're a boot fanatic, like me, you'd never stop at just three boots. You just wouldn't do it. So if you're pushing forward and you're getting a fourth boot in your collection, this is where you'd get a black boot. If you watched my video comparing black versus brown boots, my recommendation is that if you wear a lot of black t-shirts or black jeans, then a black boot is a must for you. You can wear brown boots with a black t-shirt and jeans, but a black boot, it's gonna look a lot better. If you're anything like me, you can end up getting 10 pairs of boots and never get a single black leather pair. I just massively prefer brown boots over black boots, so that's just my personal style. But before I got my first pair of black boots, I found myself choosing between five or six different pairs of brown boots to go with a particular style, uh, when basically any pair of black boots at all would have been the obvious choice choice for that day. So do yourself a favor, don't be like me and get a pair of black boots as your fourth pair of boots. My first pair of black boots was a sleek pair of Chelsea's and that sort of doubled as a go-to black dress boot as well. A lot of times when you're getting your first few pairs of boots, you're aiming for as much versatility as possible, which makes a lot of sense. I've been leaning into bulkier styles in the past year and one of my favorite black boots right now is the Grant Stone Brass Boot. It's a mock toe style, but unlike many other mock toes, it has a heavy lug commando sole instead of the wedge sole. If you want a dressier and slimmer style, you can also go with something like the Beckett Simonon Douglas Jodper boots, which are similar 
similar to Chelsea boots, but it's got the little buckle here. It's a little more interesting. And if you want to go off the wall, you can check out something like the Fry Harness boot, though this is much less versatile because it's so stylized with the buckle. When you have a casual brown boot, a dress boot, a work boot, and a black boot, you should basically have all your style bases covered at this point. No matter what situation you're going into, you have the right pair of boots for that. So the fifth pair of boots every guy must have is going to be unique to you. It's a pair of boots that you love regardless of whether it matches with most of your wardrobe or if you can wear it very often. It should be a boot that when you look at it, you can't help but just think of how cool it is. Maybe it's something that reflects some of your personality or it's something you wear only for very, very specific occasions like going out to dinner on a Saturday night. A few examples for me are the Taft Dillon. I picked this up because I think the woven leather texture is awesome. I don't wear them very often, but when I do, they always get a ton of compliments and they are the star of the show. I also really like my Wesco Engineers as a unique boot. I like these specifically because of how the chromic style leather ages, creases, and I love how they feel on my feet. This list could really go on and on. For instance, I have these rough out Tacovis cowboy boots, which don't really match with much of anything I have, but when I pair them with some crisp new denim, they look absolutely on point. I think too many guys play their boot game too conservatively, only sticking with brown mock toes or something basic, but there's a whole world of super interesting boots out there and getting a unique pair that you love just for the sake of them being awesome is why the fifth boot every man must have is a boot that's unique to your personality and sense of style. If you want to see what my favorite boots are right now, check out this video right here. I'll see you in that video and until next time, put your best boot forward. The fifth boot every man must have is a banute. Uh, is a banute.